Hello, my name is Marlon Moore, and today I'm going to tell you the story called The Mountain. This is a story written by me, and it's a true story of me and my friend Rob, also known as Robert, when we were in college up in the beautiful mountains of North Carolina. So this is the story called The Mountain, and this is the story of me and my friend Rob, Robert. We are, were both and still are adventurous young people who had grown up in Florida. And of course, we we're growing up traipsing across the beautiful bays and bayous of Florida, fishing and hiking, camping and biking. Rob and I were the exact same age back in those days, 22 years old, straight out of state, in college for the first time up in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. So this is a story of how one day, it was a beautiful Saturday, we set off on a mountain forest hike just to find some adventure as we had done pretty much every weekend since we arrived to college. And we had packed Rob's Jeep with supplies such as food and water. And we were both outfitted in our usual you know, adventure gear with short flannel shirts and hiking boots. So Rob and I, we trekked around some of our usual forest locations for most of the afternoon, all the way into the early evening. It wasn't quite dark yet, but it was starting to get dusk around that time of day. We were walking up and down trails, some clear and some fraught with overgrown trees and some kind of near impossible embankments that we skirted past. We had parked our Jeep at the bottom of a very steep valley and that led up to a wall of beautiful trees and shrubs. And so after about two or three hours of hiking all around the rear of the valley, skirting around the narrow, imperceptible passages, we decided to head back in the direction of the vehicle, of course, to begin to head home to our dorms for a real meal because we had been out there for most of the, the afternoon. So as always, looking for the impossible adventure we got ready to descend from the top of the ridge down into the valley leading back to the Jeep. But lo and behold, we had forgotten that there was a waterfall that capped the top of the valley. Look, it was right there. There really wasn't much of a waterfall when you were at the top, or so we thought. What if we just walked along the edge of the top of the waterfall where the water descended over the edge? We could both see the rock ledge and it looked pretty much wide enough. So we accepted the challenge. Rob went first and I was a few feet behind him as we were slowly walking and shuffling along the edge of the waterfall rock ledge. Things were going pretty well until we got halfway out onto the walkway and we both looked at each other at the same time. The rocks were very slippery and the flowing water was making it impossible to move with sure footing. We both tried one more time to move along. We were almost there. We slipped again. At that moment, we both almost slipped right off the waterfall, which was about 70 feet down, ending in rocks and debris at the bottom. We slipped again and realized that if we didn't get off this ledge, we wouldn't be able to even see where we are going and we would certainly be doomed. Finally, we mustered all of our courage and somehow we were able to shuffle along the slippery water edge, watery edge until we finally reached the other side. Rob and I hurried back to the car laughing and exhausted. We made it back to the dorms where we ate and reflected on yet another impossible adventure where we had pushed ourselves to the limit. My name is Marlon Moore, and today we're gonna to be reading Chick and the Brain, Smell My Foot. And this is a book written by C.C. Bell, and it is a Newbery Honor winner. Smell my foot.
Chapter One, Foot. Hello, Brain. Yeah, I know. I am Brain. No, Brain, no. I say, hello, Brain. Then you say, hello, Chick. Like this. Hello, Chick. My name is not Chick. <sighs> Brain, you look very smart. Yeah, I know. But you are not very smart. Oh, yeah? Smell my foot. <laughs> what? Smell my foot. No, I will not smell your foot. Oh, come on, smell it. Smell it now. <laughs> no, I will not smell your foot. But my foot smells good. My foot smells great. Maybe your foot smells good. Maybe your foot smells great, but I will not smell your foot until you say, please, like this, please smell my foot. Oh, okay. Woo, that is something else. Now you can smell my foot. No, 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 you must say, please. Say please, and then I will smell your foot. Oh, please smell my foot? That is much better. Now I will smell your foot. Wow, your foot smells good. Your foot smells great. Yeah, I know. You're welcome. No, but I did not say thank you. You cannot say you're welcome until someone else has said thank you. You just did. So, you're welcome. <sighs> Chapter two, spot. <laughs> peck, 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 peck. Look, look, I see a dog. Hello, I am Spot. Hello, I am Chick. And this is Brain. Yeah, Chick, I know. I am Brain. Okay. Smell my foot. What? No, Brain, no. You did not say hello. You did not say please like this. Hello, Spot, please smell my foot. Okay. Wow, wow. Your foot smells good. Your foot smells great. Thank you, Spot. Mm-hmm. Um, Spot, Spot? You have to say you're welcome. Oh, you're yummy. I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> Very good. Now, please smell brain's foot. It also smells good. It also smells great. Huh? It does smell good, but it does not smell great. Yeah, I know. Wait, what? I like the way Brain's foot smells, but I love the way Chick's foot smells. Chick's foot smells like chicken. Thank you. You're yummy. I mean, you're welcome. Come to my house for lunch, Chick. No, thank you. Why not? 
You did not say please. Oh, please come to my house for lunch? I will. Thank you. Brain, I am going with Spot. I am going to Spot's house for lunch. Have a nice day, Brain. Goodbye. Yeah, I know. Chapter three, lunch. Mmm, my house is this way. Come in, sit here. That's where he's telling him to sit. There's salt and pepper shakers. There's a little bowl there. He wants him to sit in the bowl. You, no, you did not say please. Oh, okay, please sit here. Thank you, I will sit here. Okay, pass the salt. No, you did not say please. Please pass the salt. Now pass the pepper. Look, he's sprinkling it on him. <laughs> oh, Spot, you did not say thank you for the salt. You did not say, please pass the pepper. Thank you for the salt. Please pass the pepper. There you go. Mm, look, he's sprinkling it on him again. Don't forget to say thank you for the pepper. because how he's looking at him. Thank you for the... Knock, 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 knock. What now? Someone is at the door. Please go and see. I will go and see. Oh, spot. You did not say, excuse me. You must say, excuse me, before you leave the table. Excuse me. Much better. Oh, it is Brain. Hello, Brain. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What do you want? I want you to smell my other foot. Don't do it, Spot. Brain did not say please. Good grief, Chick. I am trying to help you. This is nice, but you must say please. Please smell my other foot, Spot. I will. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, brain. You look very smart. Yeah, I know. But you are not very smart. Oh, yeah? Yes, you said you're welcome, but Spot has not said thank you yet. Good grief, chick. Chapter four, other foot. Oh, chick, you are not very smart. Excuse me? Look, chick, I cannot say you're welcome to Spot because Spot could not say thank you. Look at Spot. Spot cannot say thank you because Spot is out cold. Spot is out cold because he smelled my other foot. Mm -hmm. 
you see my other foot does not smell good. My other foot does not smell great. My other foot smells bad. Really, really bad. Really? Yes, really. I said you're welcome to you because I saved your life. You did? Yeah, I know. I did. Look, Spot said that your foot smelled like chicken. Yes, that was nice. Spot made me feel good. Then he invited you to lunch. Yes, that was nice too. Spot made me feel special. No, 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 no. Spot did not want you to feel good. Spot did not want you to feel special. How do you know? I know that Spot is a dog. Yes, I know that too. Do you know what dogs eat? Dog food? Yes, and chicken, chicken feet. So if a dog tells you that your other foot smells like chicken, you better watch out. Mm, chicken foot. <gasps> You're very smart. Yeah, I know. You saved my life. Yeah, I know. You're welcome. Oh, brain, I did not say thank you. You just did, so you're welcome. <sighs> I will try again. Thank you for saving my life. You're a... Uh, 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 what now? Spot is waking up. Spot is waking up. I must go. Ooh. Goodbye, brain. Yeah. Um, chicken. Hey, Spot. No, my foot. Oh, not again. The end. Thank you very much for listening.